one, I'd like to just say, uh, you know, UMBC is a really good team, and uh, I thought they certainly played well enough to win tonight. Um, they do things very well in passing and shooting, uh, and uh, I'm proud of our team for coming back and, and kind of changing the direction of the game. You know, when we got down, I think, 14 early in the second half, I feel like we, we started to just make it harder for them, and, um, and that lasted throughout the – the end of the game. So I'm, I'm proud of our team for a win. We clearly have a, a ways to go, and um, we need to keep fighting and scrapping and get ourselves ready for, for our next one next Saturday. A lot of advantages of having a senior guard who can make free throws. I guess that's one of them, getting the ball in the last three minutes on the go, huh? Yeah, definitely. I think Sean Jay was, was great. You know, he, um, he played a really good overall game. Even when we were struggling, he, in terms of his alertness to the game and his leadership, we're, we're Excellent, and uh, he had a really, really good game. And even though he didn't shoot well from the floor, that's the mark of a good player, I think. A guy who doesn't shoot well from the floor has a good game and has a huge part in winning. And certainly, being a senior and and having that experience really helped him. But but he showed why, uh, you know, why he gets a lot of attention uh, tonight. You were up, you were up nineteen nine, and then it was downhill there for. Seven yeah, you minutes. right. You know, we, we we actually did get off to a good start, an immediate start, and we clicked a little bit and, and, and looked better. So that, that was a positive sign. And then the rest of the first half, we were, we were bad. We were outplayed. Um, you know, they, we were beaten to loose balls. And uh, we, we, we weren't finding shooters in time. And, um, and then on, on offense, we were, we were stagnant. And you know, if we're going to be good, it's going to be because of the movement of the ball and the movement of our players. And, um, and, and I think our guys just need to continue to learn that and hear that. I thought we were much better in the second half. They admitted, um, Chandra admitted that they were standing around. Yeah. What leads to that? Yeah. Are they watching each other? Are they waiting for someone to do something? Or yeah. I remember we used to joke, and not always joke, that people would watch Kendall because yeah. he was so dynamic. Right. What are these guys doing? Well, I think part of it is that there's a, there's a bit of timing on every team's offense. And so when a guy makes a decision to go to, to drive, you might not want to cut into his driving lane. And I think those things happen during the course of a game. Uh, and when both guys hesitate, then you're then you're stagnant. And so, uh, I just think you know, playing more and more and more together. I, I don't have a, a necessary a one thing we can fix or one play, but just kind of chiseling away and and playing more and more and more, so we can read defenses more quickly, react more quickly, and get ourselves moving more quickly. You got back into this game on both ends. You had to shoot a little bit better, but you had to defend a little bit better. Can you will you take a lot of what you saw in the second half and show them? Okay, this is how yeah. we can do it moving forward. For sure, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I am proud of, of how we fought back because uh, you know you can hang your head and 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 uh, be worried, uh, but we, but we did fight and scrap. I think that um, you know the offensive rebounds and the hustle plays are, are why we won the game and 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 feel better tonight. So I think if those things can continue to show up, I, I really do believe that will be a. I think we'll be a really good offensive team um, by one point. Uh, we're not now, but we need to really keep working on that. Chris, this is sort of an unusual scheduled segment here. Yeah. What are your thoughts about playing once in 14 days? Um, you know, it's interesting, John. I, I would say, you know, it's not by design. You know, so much goes into scheduling. Um, you play once in 14 days? What, you mean like today? Well, and you then haven't played in seven days. Oh, yeah, you don't, yeah. You don't play for seven days. Right, right. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think it's I don't think it's great for basketball in general, but I do think it's good for finals. And uh, you know, we we kind of petitioned to play this game each year as long as we're at home on this Saturday, because it's a study day, uh, and our guys have very important things to accomplish in the classroom, and uh, this is one thing that that comes out of it. Um, so I don't think it's ideal in any phase of basketball or any you know level of basketball, but I think it's good for our guys to concentrate on on their finals. Is there a, an answer to Julius's cramp problem? Uh, you know, I, I yeah, a bit of a mystery. You know, just hydrate more, uh, eat bananas. You know, uh, but I, I, no, I, I don't know the answer to it. Uh, I always ask you uh, at semester break. Is your team intact? Did you anticipate losing oh. anybody over the break? I don't. I don't. Thank you, John. Anything else? Thank you.